Hey guys, a while ago I came across to this post in Age of Empires 2 subreddit. I immediately added it to my bucket list. With the Blender artist's blessing, I made a 70 second scale model of it. You can find the link to his Instagram account in the video's description. Let's get to the build. I'm starting with cutting out the basic shapes of walls and floor pieces out of foam core. Since the original plan doesn't have any windows or door frames, I decided foam core would be a thick enough material to represent the look I'm going for. Once those are out of the way, I cut out the door and window sections. And trim the outer parts of the cutout sections to create a bit of a depth. Since the surface of the foam core is very smooth, I decided to cut and glue cardstock pieces on each wall to make sure during painting I have better paint coverage. Although later on this turned out to be somewhat unnecessary, as I later on decided to apply baking powder on all the walls with watered down glue to give it all a nice rugged texture. Once all the pieces are ready, I glued them together with hot glue gun. In order to have some sort of a playability, I planned each floor of the house to be removable. For this, I glued small magnets on the wall tops. The tricky part of the build ended up being the steps. I maybe should have kept them glued with the base floor. I don't know why, but ended up attaching it on the second floor. The only two glued toothpick pieces ended up resulting in a very flimsy connection, which I had to strengthen off the camera. I tried to make the actual steps with cardstock, but failed with it, then switched to make them with styrofoam. The visible parts of the foam core bothered me, so I cut off strips from cardstock and covered these areas. Later on I added styrofoam pieces to the edges of the top floor. Once I was satisfied with the building itself, I started to apply watered down glue on the visible sides of the building, and then applied baking powder as I mentioned before. For the logs sticking out of the walls, I cut 1 cm long pieces from a chopstick and added them on the house. While waiting for the glued parts to be dried, I started working on the outer unit of this build. For that, I again used strips I cut from styrofoam blocks and glued them together. Cut a square piece from the cardstock to use as a base for it. Rounded the edges with the side of the hobby knife for a more worn look. Used toothpicks and steering sticks to build a holder for the tent piece for later. I primed everything in black as usual and fix some of the mistakes I could only notice after a black paint. Then painted everything in Revell's sand color. In any project I kinda get upset with the paint job up until I start dry brushing, applying wash, adding details, etc. I felt the same way with this one. Once the paint dried completely I mixed random amounts of Vallejo old wood and white and started dry brushing. Overly, it ended up being too subtle, so I highlighted the corner parts of the house with white. And painted the logs with Vallejo wood grain. Next, I applied black wash all over the house, wherever I could see a crack or crevice.
Before I was done with the paint job, I dry brushed some mud on the second floor and stairs. And applied some black weathering powder all over the house to make it look old and dirtier. I started working on detail objects and finalized this build. I made a pair of posts from toothpicks and sticks to carry a tarp on the second floor of the house. And from the same materials made a table. Made the ladder reaching up to the roof of the house. Cut a chopstick and made a pair of barrels, one longer, one shorter. The hardest and by far the dirtiest of the build was the pottery all over and around the house. I was gonna make them from millipot but decided to instead use chopsticks as the base material. Millipot takes a while to dry completely and I was running short on time. I painted all these accessories off the camera and started installing the wooden posts on the second floor. For the tarp itself, I cut pieces from a dried sheet of baby wipe and dunked it in a paint, water and glue mixture. Did the same for the outer unit, just in yellow color. I prepared milliput noodles to start working on vines covering the sides of the building. Then added them on the walls of the house and painted them with watered-down Vallejo wood grain. Once the paint dried, I applied black wash all over and the edges of the vines to give it a, a bit of a depth. Then applied various sizes of lock to finish it. In order to make some rugs, I printed some vector rug designs. Cut them out and dunked them in watered down glue. I added all the leftover accessories I made and painted earlier on the house before I was finally done with this. Thank you all for watching this build. If you liked it, give this video a thumb up. If you're familiar with Age of Empires, let me know what building you would want to see me build in the future. I'll see you in the next one.